Hi, I'm Nachola the Drawer, an artist and adventurer from the UK. Let's get creative. Good morning! So in today's video, I am here down in Witten Park, which is a village here in the northeast. And I'm going to be starting an install of mural here um, in their park, in Witten Park, in the basketball court on this wall here. So this nice long wall. I'm going to be starting today to draw it out and then you'll see it all come together. So this is a mural that I've done a workshop with the brownies with so uh, it's going to be showing the things that they think are important and you'll see it come to life with colour and illustration. So let's get started. First things first, doodle grid and get the drawing on. So it is lunchtime day one and you can't really tell but I've drawn out all of the design. Um, along this whole wall here so that means this afternoon after lunch you can start with some paint and you'll start to see it come to life and it's a lovely day a bit chilly drawing so I've got my hat on but apart from that can't complain no rain I've done an outline on all of the drawings on the wall so then it'll be easy to know where to fill in the background colour which is the blue Look at that weather now. The sun has been shining this afternoon. That's end of day one. I'm going to finish there. I've managed to get all the pink on the wall. So we've got a pink hand, pink hair, and a couple little pink details over there as well. And you can start to see it shaping up because it's got all the outline on it. So back again tomorrow, getting some more colour on that wall, and you'll be able to see it all come together. See you tomorrow. And that's the background starting to fill in now. I've got a helper with me today, so that's getting done a lot quicker than it would be just by myself. So as you can see, over halfway with the background in blue. It's lunchtime on day two, just having a sandwich, sat at the picnic bench, and I've got a helper today. So you can see in the background, we've got all the background done, thanks to a helper, <laughs> and getting on with the colors, and the sun is shining. You can start to see the illustrations popping out of the wall, now there's more colors added, and you can start to see the story coming together. End of day two and it's looking colourful. Lots covered and back again tomorrow to do a few more colours and then there's no more white on the wall. Hello, hello. So it's day three and I've cycled here this morning, just got off the bike. And again, it looks like it's gonna be a good day. I need to unsteam my glasses before I start painting. And I'm just walking down past the park to the basketball court where the mural is in Whitten Park. And wow, it looks like got a lot done yesterday. So here they're regenerating the basketball court here. So they're gonna be getting brand new nets around the side and I'm doing the wall and they're cleaning up so that people can use it and enjoy the space and get outside and get active. So it's early Saturday morning. This is where I got to yesterday with my helper. The paint is so low today. So on to the next few colours. There's only a few spots of white left and then it starts to be more of the details but you can start to see it's coming to life so I need to get out of my cycling gear and put on my painting kit it was together with the brownies and the rainbows here in Whitton Park I did a workshop a creative workshop with painting drawing sticky notes all of the mural ideas that they have that go with their community the brownies, the rainbows, what it means to them, the things they do there, and also to celebrate the 70 years of um, Queen Elizabeth, so the Jubilee year, which is this year. So um, it's a combination of all of that. So I'm gonna show you a quick peek. It's not finished. I've got a couple of days left to go, um, but I will show you some of the key features of the mural. And um, I'll show you in a later vlog how 
those sessions with the drawing and painting came to be from those ideas to this mural and how that translates. But we have here this amazing little figure here and she says, together we can do so much. And this first half is the theme of all the different badges that the um, brownies can collect. So it was the ones that they imagined or that they would like. So we have the helping hands, we have um, environmental and saving the planet and also swimming. We also have looking after your body and your health. And um, we have here this fabulous girl doing a crab. And then we have over this side, the Jubilee part. So this was, what did they do to celebrate the Jubilee? What was important to them? And they all designed their own crowns. So all of the girls on this side have crowns designed by brownies and rainbows. And we have the key colors of the rainbow red, the brownie yellow, and the girl guide blue. And then we have them dancing. So we have these amazing, rainbow unicorn and caterpillar playing their brass instruments um, and brass bands were mentioned about us celebrating a way to dance and have music and they can dance together and celebrate um, the reign of the queen who was also a girl guide so it's been another lovely sunny day a little bit of drizzle for about five minutes while i was doing the writing on there but it's been a great day lots of progress and as you can see now it's all come together and now it's kind of the details um there's a few things missing like there's lots of hearts that go on there and yeah come back tomorrow get some more on a couple more days and it'll be all done and looks pretty good eh all right see you tomorrow hello so it turns out yesterday morning and yesterday night when I biked here and back to the mural, I didn't have fully inflated tires. I was thinking, this is hard work. This morning, Super Dad came to the rescue and fully inflated my tires. And I zoomed here like so much faster than I did yesterday. So I'm ready. It's a lovely sunny day again. Glass is steamed again and Let's get cracking with the rest of the mural. I'm so happy we've had good luck with the weather and it's coming along nicely. So today I'm starting to add some of those details that are missing and yeah, beautiful Sunday painting. So it's lunchtime, day four, and the drizzle has started. It's been so sunny so far, it's been brilliant. But when painting outside, always be prepared peak cap so your glasses don't get rain on, waterproof and an umbrella if it gets really bad. Um, let's keep going, hope it goes away. Please go away clouds, thanks. So it's been raining outside and I've carried on um, but obviously the floor is very wet and I've sat down on my bum. So if you have a look, oh, ta-da! I look like I've wet myself. <laughs> okay, I'm calling it a day. It has been like grey drizzling for a couple of hours now. But made some progress still in the rain. Now there's always pretty much everything in the design on the wall. Um, there's just kind of perfecting the faces, my signature. Um, smiley faces on the hearts and then some touch-ups so not too much more to go and my bum is so wet come back again tomorrow and hope for sunshine do the no rain dance good morning so after getting rained off early last night uh, yesterday afternoon back here overcast we'll deal with that that's good and it's looking nice and vibrant so just last few touches, last big day today, and almost there. Cycle this again this morning. It's a lot chillier today, but mum and dad came down and brought me a flask of tea. Thanks, mum and dad. Anyway, love a couple, and the wall is almost there. And there we go, that's a wrap. The mural is finished. That is a finished piece here in Whitton Park. And let's get a close up.
let me know what you think of this mural, which is your favourite part. Have you got an amazing community that needs their messages put on a wall? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you for the next creative adventure. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell.